warm welcome to you all. Hope you'll thoroughly enjoy our program. May we remind you that for the convenience of those patrons who prefer not to smoke, seating areas on the right-hand side of this auditorium have been designated as no smoking areas. Your cooperation is appreciated. And now, preview time. When it comes to entertainment, you can't beat a good film. So let's take a look at what's coming your way. Eastwood, the man. Iger, the mountain. A deadly combination. Help! Sanction, a violation of the law to enforce the law. One of our agents has been killed in Zurich by two men. We want you to sanction them. Chilling. It is what you do best. The target is male. He is an accomplished mountain climber. What's his name? We don't know. We know which mountain he will climb. The Iger. From the suspenseful international bestseller, The Iger Sanction. Every character brought vividly alive. If you ever come near me again, I'm gonna kill you. Jonathan Hemlock, collector of art and women. Mountain climber. An expert at sanctions. Big Ben Bowman. How much did he really know? Why the hell didn't he polish you off? The raven-haired beauty, Jemima Brown. For your information, I was not assigned to seduce you. Dragon, head of search and sanction for C2. I'm going to give you a bonus. Miles Mellow. I didn't actually kill him, you know. Well, I probably won't actually kill you. And George, the trainer. He's just a girl. And unpredictable. Your target is one of the other climbers. The Frenchman, the German, or the Austrian. Doesn't bother you a bit that you've blown my cover, does it? is either hurt or he's dead. I knew that'd be death. He was playing that way. His lifeline in the hands of the assassin he hunted. Jonathan E, that's the name. Houston players come and go, but the champion plays on. You know how the game serves us. It has a definite social purpose. Nations are bankrupt, gone. No poverty, no sickness. Man has accomplished what he'd always craved. Corporate society was an inevitable destiny, a good life, a centuries-old dream. You better do as you're told, Jonathan. That's all I have to say. Don't be here when I come back. You won't be back, Johnny. Bo no player is greater than the game itself. It's not a game a man is supposed to grow strong in, Jonathan. I 
you're the only person I ever wanted. Wanted you on my side. That's all. The books you've ordered are classified and have been transcribed and summarized. Well, who summarizes them? Zero, of course. He's the world's brain. Does it answer you? Oh, yes. It speaks. Mm -hmm. I'd like, uh... I'd like, uh, some information about corporate decisions, uh, how they're made and who makes them. They're afraid of you, Jonathan. All the way to the top, they are. The game was created to demonstrate the futility of individual effort. Let the game do its work. Game! This wasn't meant to be a game! school girl's been murdered. Mr. Harrison's daughter is missing. And now at the house where she lives, the other girls are getting obscene phone calls. Yeah, what I've done is I've tapped this phone so that when it rings, it'll ring at the station house, too. There was a little girl murdered over in the park tonight. Yes, I heard. Your phone's ringing. Terminal 55. Remember those idyllic scenes out of your childhood? Crisp winter nights, star bright, sleigh bells, crackling yule logs, candlelight glistening off of shimmering Christmas trees, chestnuts roasting over open fires, 
carolers beneath snow-covered window ledges. Remember those. Remember them well. After Black Christmas, they'll never be the same again. Black Christmas, starring Olivia Hussey, Keir Dulay, Margot Kidder, and starring John Saxon as Lieutenant Fuller. If this movie doesn't make your skin crawl, it's on too tight. Two men on a dream vacation. What the hell are they doing? I shouldn't think they killed her. Back! Frank, they've seen us. And get trapped in an unbelievable nightmare. Turn off the light! Why? What's wrong? What are you guys up to? 20th Century Fox presents Race the Devil. We saw somebody murdered. What? Some sort of ritual across the river. A girl got stabbed. They're chasing us. Starring Peter Fonda and Warren Oates. <laughs> there was nowhere they could hide. Alice, look what was stuck to the back window. It's some kind of message. Witchcraft. Witches? There was no one they could trust. <laughs> well, did anybody hear anything? Didn't anybody see anything? Go on with your trip. Have a good time. Leave this up to me. There was nothing they could do. He followed us all the way from Bandera. He's here right now watching us. But run. And fight. Shoot him, Frank! And race with the devil. There's somebody on top. Frank, it's got to leave. We gotta stay in here. Don't go up. Peter Fonda, Warren Oates, Loretta Swit, Lara Parker. Race with the devil. When you race with the devil, you'd better be faster than hell. That's just a sample of the films to come. You can't please all the people all the time, but we hope we'll please most of you most of the time. Anyway, see you soon. shine of a rosy apple to the mild gentle cleaning of a ph balanced shampoo and you've got it alberto v05 apple shampoos they'll leave your hair shining as an apple the sanyu music center at cheeseman's music and entertainment at your fingertips a three-way band stereo radio a stereo cassette player and recorder a superb stereo record deck and two matching speakers new low budget price 116 pounds at cheeseman's now Hello, Michael Aspel here. This suit is from a stylish new collection at Hepworth's. They asked the famous designer, Hardy Amis, to put together a special range of suits between 40 and 50 pounds. There were to be no compromises on design or quality. These are the results. Made to measure and ready to wear, the price is the same, 40 to 50 pounds. And there's credit available too. Hardy Amis five-star collection. There's no better value anywhere. If your drinks are on the table, I'll fetch the others. Thank you, Horace. I'd have made straight to the Coven special reserve. 
special reserve port from Coburn's. Always keep something special in reserve. You might like to know about a new aftershave called Denim. It's not for men who want to drive women crazy, but it does encourage a feeling of freshness. If you've been looking for an aftershave as cool as the clothes you wear, get into new Denim. The aftershave for men. You don't have to try too hard. I know what my friend's like. Nice, calm sea. Plenty of sun. And baby shan. It's got sparkle. It's got life. It's got a whole lot going for it. If you lovely ladies can summon up the energy. Mm -hmm. Have a baby shan. Baby shan's got sparkles. Baby shan's got life. Now, it's time for ice cream. Or maybe some nuts. A cool glass of orange. Why not try a hot dog? Or a sparkling ice cool Pepsi. From the sales girls and in the foyer. Now. Of course I love sure. But I should put a kiss, don't I? Mm. But a kiss. On sale now. Just one cornetto, give it to me. Delicious ice cream of Italy. Delight and chocolate It's no good you sitting there dying of thirst looking at these oranges. They're absolutely forbidden in here. I mean, well, I mean, it's not a greengrocer's, is it? I mean, they make a terrible mess. People get squirted in the eye and, and, and sometimes in the circle. I mean, all this peel, you know, the usherettes. The usherettes have absolutely refused to, and that came as a great surprise to the manager, because you see these pips. I mean, they get flicked at people in the front, and they hit them in the back, and they get trodden on. Messy business. On the other hand, we have no objection to you making loud slurping noises and dribbling down your front with your aura. Orange. At your aura. Mm. Funnily enough, it's made from fresh oranges. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Went up my nose. alive today who 
has survived millions of years of evolution without change, without passion, and without logic. It lives to kill. A mindless eating machine. It will attack and devour anything. It is as if God created the devil and gave him jaws. <laughs> This is Universal's extraordinary motion picture version of Peter Benchley's best-selling novel, Jaws. I just found out that a girl got killed here last week. And you knew it. You knew there was a shark out there. You knew it was dangerous. But you let people go swimming anyway. Barracuda. You're right, sis. Huh? What? You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. Is it true that most people get attacked by sharks in three feet of water, about 10 feet from the beach? Yeah. What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. We're not only going to have to close the beach, we're going to have to hire somebody to kill the shark. Bad fish. But I'll catch him and kill him. Did you hear your father? This shark, swallow you whole. You're going to need a bigger boat. That's a 20 footer. 25. Three tons on him. Hurry up, he's coming straight for us. Don't screw it up now. Don't wait for me. Now! Shoot! fantasies of evil and compare with the reality of Jaws. Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfus, Jaws. See it before you go swimming.